Hello, welcome back to the channel for part two of this video. Um, we're going to be doing the east and west today, and we'll start with the east coast, best coast. Purdue will be the one seed in this region with Marquette as the two. And if we reference our guide of teams that are in the top uh, 25 of efficiency, we unfortunately do not have one here. Now, that would be meaning that this is kind of an open one. And when you look at the seeds, it was revealed last in the brackets. You know, you started doing the calculations at your hand you're like okay there's some really good teams in here you've got one seed purdue five seed duke four seed tennessee you got kentucky in there providence in there kansas state is a sneaky three seed you got marquette too some old programs like michigan state is a seven or roberts is the most sexy upset pick at 12 against duke that's gonna be a great game it's all gonna be great games obviously because it's march but these ones will be better than normal um, looking forward at the games here, I have Purdue advancing. I have, uh, I believe, over, let's say, Philly Dickinson. I don't really know, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Memphis will be beating FAU just purely on, uh, you know, king of the group of five, I would say, outside of Houston would be Memphis. Um, Duke and Oral Roberts is going to be a great game, but I'm going to go chalk for pretty much this entire first round. I have no upsets, so quick spoiler there. Uh, I have Duke beating Oral Roberts. I have Tennessee beating Louisiana. I have Kentucky beating Providence. That would be a close game. Kansas State taking easy care of business with Montana State. And then Michigan State edging out USC. I think a USC will win, but I have to pick Michigan State, so I'm right. Or I can laugh at them. Kind of how that works. Uh, and then Marquette will take on Vermont in a tough game, but Marquette will advance. Marquette, Michigan State. Marquette takes care of business pretty handily there. Um, likely with Kentucky, I think it'll be a, a popular upset pick because people will be like, Kansas State, who do they have? Nothing. Um, Kentucky. Oh, they're Kentucky. They're very good. Click Kentucky. No. Kansas State wins, and they might win against Marquette, but they will not. Marquette advances into the Elite Eight for me. Now, I went quick on that one because it's pretty chalk for me. I don't really think there's much going on there, but this top half is going to get interesting. You start off with the fun game, the one that everyone's going to watch, probably Duke, Tennessee. Now, I hope to be at this game, and hopefully it is Tennessee playing either Duke or Earl Roberts for the sake of my sister, but um, I do think Duke will unfortunately beat Tennessee. Tennessee, you know, hasn't gotten out of the first weekend in a very long time, and they're a completely different team without Sakai Ziegler. Jeremy Roach is a great point guard. I think he'll have his way against Viscovi, but if Tennessee's hitting shots, no one in the country can stop him because that defense is awesome. I would love to see Tennessee play Purdue, but I do not see it happening. Unfortunately, I'll have to go with Duke here. Um, you know, choose the evil. Um, but, you know, you'd be very happy if you're wrong because I like Tennessee a lot more than Duke, and I think that's about 99% of the country, maybe outside of Alabama and Florida. Uh, as for the other game, Memphis-Purdue, Memphis is a damn good team. They got some athletes, and I think that they could out-physical and outwork Purdue. If they put a press on, Purdue's in trouble. Um, the first team to realize that will be interesting. I hope the 16 seed puts up some pressure and full court presses Purdue because that'll be good for Purdue and good for the viewer because that could get a real close game real fast. Um, Zach Eady, obviously an animal, absolute monster, and no one's going to be able to match up with him in this region except Derek Lively. He's a taller seven-foot center, one of the best blockers in the country, plays some great, great defense, and I do think that Purdue will lose to Duke and I have Duke Marquette in my Elite Eight, as much as it hates me to say that. Now Marquette, they've been playing some great basketball down the stretch. They came out of the Big East, which they were supposed to be ninth in out of 11. They got, they, you know, obviously not. They were the one seed. They won their tournament. They owned Madison Square Garden. You know, they beat some pretty damn good teams in the way. They've beaten Xavier, beaten UConn, one of the hottest teams out there. Marquette is a damn good team, and they're in my Final Four. As for the West, we've got... Uh, three teams here that fit the bill. Two fit the bill perfectly, and Kansas is right on the edge, and that is UConn and UCLA. Uh, spoiler alert, that would be my Elite Eight. Um, they're matching up, um, but working backwards here, Kansas advances over Howard. Arkansas beats Illinois in the best 8-9 game out there. It's going to be an absolute war, but I think Arkansas and the must bus go there, and Illinois loses in the first round once again. Uh, VCU St. Mary's will be a great game for uh, those out there that you know bet a lot of basketball and are degenerates of the sport and watch these smaller conferences and St. Mary's at like five in the morning, you know, jokingly with the West Coast and VCU, you know, with the ex-Michigan transfers Brandon Johns and Zeb Jackson. 
Um, it's going to be a great game. I think St. Mary's will edge out the VCU Rams. I mean, if picking against the spread, I would love VCU, but St. Mary's will win. UConn uh, will advance over Iona. Uh, Slick Rick will not be focused on this game. This would be a really good game if he didn't have coaching rumors. I think he's already focused on somewhere else, whether it be Texas Tech, Georgetown, uh, St. John's. But uh, Slick Rick is back. Watch out, people. Um, UConn will advance over St. Mary's, and UConn will take on Kansas in which Kansas will fall to UConn. I think this is where they're going to start missing Bill Self is against the better coaches, but we'll see what happens there. Hopefully uh, he gets better. Uh, prayers up for uh, Bill Self. You know, won me some money last year with Kansas, so um, obviously that doesn't matter in terms of the health thing, but I'm a big fan of his. I like his style, and he finally got a monkey off his back last year, and I think he's got arguably just as good of a team this year and a bit weaker of a year overall. So... I would not be surprised if they beat UConn, but Hurley's got the guys buzzing, so I got them in the Elite Eight, like I said before. The bottom half here, UCLA's part, uh, they advance through UNC Asheville and Boise State. Um, I like Northwestern a lot. Boo Booey and Chase Audige, great backcourt. They'll be back next year as well, I think, but they just don't got much outside of those two, and I think Boise State is a very sneaky Mountain West team. Is good advance. I got a lot of Mountain West teams advancing. Let me be my... Uh, my conference to pick to make some noise but um gonzaga will advance through grand canyon and tcu uh tcu will be beating i believe i would say probably nevada another mountain west team but tcu is a darn good basketball team i would argue that their team's better and more sound than their football team um but obviously the football team had a lot more success um on the national level Gonzaga UCLA a West Coast game for the ages UCLA will edge Gonzaga even though I could very much see Gonzaga going but I'm purely picking these uh, Elite Eight Elite Eight and Final Four off of analytics uh, placing UConn with UCLA advancing into the Final Four and uh, my Final Four now being Alabama Marquette Houston and UCLA the most chalk I've probably had a bracket in a very long time but you know in years like this you kind of go back to the analytics got to back to the chalk and see what prevails and that would be Alabama against Houston in the championship game. And Houston wins the hometown. Hometown, Final Four, cuts the Nets down. Kelvin Sampson finally gets it there. Marcus Sasser, play of the tournament after getting hurt and going through. Jamal Shedd, some other guys going well. Um, I've been really big on Houston for a long time. Um, I really liked them last year to go far. They obviously fell to Villanova in the Elite Eight. Oh, sorry, sorry, not even Elite Eight. I think it was a little bit earlier than that. No, it was Elite Eight. And then I really did like Houston as well. The year prior, when they played Syracuse and a few other teams um, in the quasi-COVID year, I, I think that they can finally get it done. Caleb Mills transferred away. He was one of my favorite players. But they've got Marcus Sasser. They've got Jamal Shedd. They've got a bunch of athletes. They had a deep bench. They don't play in the toughest division, but they've played some tough teams. Now, Alabama's already played Houston this year, and uh, Alabama won that game. But I think Houston gets the revenge here they flip around the script and they end the uh crazy run for alabama and the cinderella storybook ending for houston in winning their hometown final four before they move to the big 12 next year and have even more competition um, i think this is a good year for them to have a good base because the american athletic is a good enough conference where you can test yourself and move forward but not too bad of a conference where it's like a gonzaga situation where they arguably don't get tested i don't believe that's a thing in college basketball especially with them playing guys like alabama throughout the year but um, i do have houston topping alabama to win my bracket thank you for everything uh share with your friends you know if, if you want to win your thing or you know maybe share with your friends after the fact as long as you're sharing with them at some point if you want to make your bracket first and share with them as soon as the brackets close and see if uh, i was right then uh go for it leave some comments down below if you agree if you disagree who's your final four and uh yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe and we'll see you later peace